I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a rock cycle and we're going to be drawing the three different types of rocks. I'm going to start over here on the left and right about here I'm just going to draw a wavy line up, wavy line in, wavy line out, wavy line down, and leave it floating. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw a curved line, then a curved line down, up, curved line out, in, and leave them floating. I come back on the left and I'm going to draw a wavy line down and connect, wavy line down and connect. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a wavy line down, connect, wavy line down, connect. Right here in the center, wavy line down, up, and leave it floating. This represents igneous rocks. Igneous rocks. And igneous rocks are formed when molten rock cools and hardens like lava from a volcano. So we're going to write molten, which means liquid, molten rock. What does it do? It cools and hardens. And that's how we get igneous rocks. Okay? Now I'm going to draw curve line down triangle because now we're going to talk about sedimentary 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 mentary rocks and these rocks are formed in layers so we're going to draw a slightly wavy slightly wavy line slightly wavy slightly wavy line slightly wavy slightly wavy line sedimentary rocks are pressed by water so to show that there's pressure we're going to draw a straight line triangle straight line triangle so that you can see the pressure coming down straight line triangle and it hits all parts of it so it can be straight line triangle straight line triangle and it's all with water and pressure so we'll put pressure and because these layers are pressed so we're going to put pressed layers of pebbles, okay, little pebbles, uh, mud, and animal parts or animal re uh, remains, which would be parts, animal remains. So what does that actually mean? This is where we find fossils. So I'm going to write fossils down here, okay? but it's pressed layers of pebbles, mud, animal remains makes fossils. All right. Now we're going to draw another curve line up and another triangle because now we're going to talk about metamorphic. Metamorphic rocks. And they're the reason why we call this a rock cycle because metamorphic rocks are rocks that change that changes form by heat 
and pressure again. Squeeze that in. Pressure. Okay? Metamorphic rocks. Now, so that I don't forget this is important, <clears throat> I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. The important information here is press layers of pebbles, one, two, three, mud, one, two, three, and animal remains, fossils, and metamorphic rocks are rocks that changes form, one, two, three, by heat and by pressure. Okay? Why is it called a cycle? Because igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, can meta become metamorphic rocks also. So I'm going to put another curved line and another triangle. This is the cycle. Okay? And because metamorphic rocks also change by pressure, straight line triangle, straight line triangle, straight line triangle. Okay. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in my rock cycle arrows. And I'm going to color these in red. And I made them a little bit big so that they would stand out. So these get colored red because this shows you the movement of the rock cycle. Then there's a lot of pressure. So all of my pressure air arrows, I'm going to color turquoise blue, blue-green. And this represents pressure on all of these formations. I have them over here too. Don't forget you've got pressure over here with your metamorphic rocks. Okay? Then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to do my volcano representing molten rock, magma, has a name. And I'm just going to put red lines to represent my lava flow. Then I'm going to come in and do some brown because it is a landform coming up from the earth. Okay, a little bit of brown. And I'm going to put yellow right here in the center. Next, I'm going to start off with yellow orange, and I'm just going to do my layers of sediment for my sediment, sedimentary, sedimentary rocks. Okay, I use pink, orange. I'm going to put some brown in here because it is earth. Maybe some yellow. But I want specifically to show these layers because that's the part that's important for these rocks. So rocks are really chunks of minerals and they all change because of the earth being formed the way it has been. So it's kind of interesting to see how all of these rocks can metamorphic, become metamorphic rocks through the cycle. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, if you are a scientist who studies rocks, you're a geologist, and rocks, are amazing pieces of earth. Okay, bye-bye.